Alrighty guys, since last time, let me lay these nuts down, which I'll need here in a minute. Since last time, I got a new idler arm for the uh, tensioner on the deck. So and that should work out just fine. Might have to put some washers in there, but anyhow, I need to have the new idler arm. And today, we're basically going to be reassembling the deck. Uh, what I'm going to do here is basically I'm just going to loosely put everything in place and then I'll tighten all the bolts off camera. Um, and you guys will get the, get the gist. Um, I might show reassembling the, uh, the spindles a lot better, but the rest of it I probably won't so much. But anyhow, I got this up on a 4x4 in the front and I got my Harbor Freight Jack in the back holding it up. And we're going to put this together. I am going to start with this idler pulley over here. That's the other thing I'm going to have to do. I have to buy a, one more idler pulley up for this. Just the one off the tension here on the junk. That's in place. Next thing you guys want to start with spindles. I went and I bought uh, new carriage bolts for all this. Uh, these are two inch, I think they're a little on the long side. Uh, inch and a half would probably be plenty. But what I'm going to do is I'll put all the spindles in and then I'll flip the deck up. And then uh, I'll cut them, cut them shorter with a grinder if need be. The only problem with having real long bolts sticking out in the bottom is like rope or cable or something can get wound up in them if you, uh, you, know, you accidentally mow that up. You can haul grass and stuff. And stick to that. Before anybody asks, yes, the spindles do come up through the, they bolt to the bottom of the deck. I should have did this off camera, huh? it's been a lot faster. is I have to start the nuts on the bottom of the deck. I have all the, all the parts are laying over here. Actually I don't need half of these because the new spindle come with all the washers and the keyways and stuff in the spindles. So what I'm going to do here is I think I want all the, the grease fittings on these to point do I want them to point forward or do I want them to point to this side? I think if I point them forward it would probably be a good idea. Because then that way, if I if I can get the tractor, the front of the tractor up a little bit, I can get my arm and underneath it and grease. So. That's what I'm going to try and do. Anyhow. Although it's not going not to work exactly the way I want it to. Thing is, all I have to do is start them with some the carriage bolts, and I can tighten them all up at once. So I don't have to hold them. Okay, I got 
see these bolts aren't sticking through as much as I thought they would. So like I said, inch and a half might be too short. And again, inch and a half might be just perfect. Been good, how quiet they are. Yeah, that'll be maintained. There's no there's no play in them really. So I'm gonna go over here and do the center spin next. Seems like you can always get two going on, but you can't get all four at once. To the last one. I think you guys are still in the frame here. You guys can't see anything here, but apologize when I lost when the nuts rolled away underneath here. for warming up and scaring me all the drum. Oop. 
Hopefully you guys heard that. I think they did. spindles in and I think really that's the only other thing that bolts to the deck except the carriage as far as I know yeah I think so guys so uh, that's gonna be it for for this one unless I do the spindles and uh, catch everybody on the next one because like I said I don't have a I don't have an idler pulley to put on here well, I do, but it's it's a junk idler pulley. Or I could put this deck together this weekend and run it once. Decisions. I also bought carriage bolts for in here. Should make sure these work. See why I wouldn't. Should be long enough, huh? I'm going to take, and take a second and show you guys the bottom of this. I did tighten these down. These are 3 8 by 2 inch uh, carriage bolts. And as you can see, they're actually they're probably about right. I mean, there's a there is, there is a lot of thread sticking out of there, but it's not like it's not like excessive. Like if it was out here anymore, I would say you have to cut it off. Oh, I'm sorry, not centered. But if it was down there much more, I would definitely cut them off. <clears throat> the way I think they are now is okay. I think they'll be all right that way. Uh, the other thing I want to do to make sure I don't really need to weld anything. Everything looks okay. So I'm going to. I have to tighten up the idler pulley uh, bolt. I haven't quite decided if I'm going to put the blades on it first. Cause the blades I have are actually pretty, they're fairly, oh, I think I didn't bust a window, that didn't they're, uh, I mean, they're, they're well, they're worn beyond what you should use a blade to, cause they're about 50%. Uh, I should really have new blades, but for right now, I'll stick them on here, I mean, won't hurt anything to try it once, they're not in danger of breaking, but they're not good blades by any means so I'll get these off here and stick them on you guys don't really need to watch me doing that but uh, see if they come off here because this this looks interesting nice these new spindles did come with uh, new lock nuts and everything on it so like I said I'll do that and I'll get back to you guys alrighty guys got the blades on Tighten the bolts down and everything. Next step is putting on uh, blah, 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 the pulleys. I can't tell if I'm 
to wind up or not. Alright, see if one of the other ones gets on easier. Yeah, of course the first one you try is always the worst. started. Might as you'll see with these, these are uh, these shafts are free to slide down through until you tighten this upper nut. So this will be the first time I've uh, fully assembled these. The main thing you want to look for is when you fully tighten this nut and a blade nut down is make sure they still spin freely. Because if they don't, you need to take it apart and you need to shim. Uh, they make shims for in these to shim the bearings up and down. Now this old style, I don't think you can really do that like you can in the new style. But just something to mention if you're doing, you know, any gravely decks because they're the gravely decks are different than regular decks. So, do I keep fooling with Mr. Pain in the butt, or do I want to go over here and try the last one? I think it's a burr or anything. This one's a little bit rusty. Smear a little bit of grease down in here to help it, maybe. Will it actually help it? I don't know. Oh, the other one went on it pretty easy. Let's see. Yeah, it's going down on there now. See how much a little bit of grease salt is? Sure it didn't push the key away out. Oh, I believe we're good there. This one I won't have to turn because it's up against the block of wood I have in the center here. It still spins freely. Obviously I can't turn it too much because it's hitting that block of wood in there. So last, last is hopefully not the most pain in the you know what. Nice. Couldn't do that again if I was trying, guys. Is still in there. Maybe you guys can hear in the background or not, but it's raining now. Not really. That one there. I think my 
impact batteries did. Spend that one a while and see what it works like. But these other ones are all good, so there's that. The next thing will be the uh, putting the deck carriage on and the idler arm and pulley. I found out my pulley is okay. Uh, I didn't realize the bolt was loose in the center of it before, so we're good. And I'll explain the stack of washers that we're going to need for that when we get there. So, later guys.